We have an update uh, to this story we brought you earlier today, this uh, Enbridge Line 3 protest uh, along the Mississippi River by Coffee Pot Landing some 15 miles southwest of Bemidji. Now, I just talked with uh, Clearwater County Sheriff uh, Darren Helverson at 6 p.m. on this Monday evening. He says the crowd uh, dispersed peacefully. However, uh, there is about uh, 25 people um, who refuse to leave. Here's a shot earlier. It would be on the uh, left side of your screen here, down by the bridge. He says uh, a group of about 25 people went off on a road out into a uh, marsh and started setting up tents and planned to camp for the night. Sheriff uh, Helverson says they talked to the landowner who uh, had no objections, so they'll be allowed to stay. But uh, basically over a thousand people on hand today for the protest here, a peaceful protest. Uh, but about uh, 25 protesters are camping out overnight, in a, but at this point, uh, no arrests, and it's uh, gone basically uh, peacefully. But that was not the case uh, down at two inlets. Another uh, protest uh, down here northwest uh, of Park Rapids, uh, several people arrested. And this statement now in from the Minnesota uh, Ag Energy Alliance, quote, Today we saw incredible hypocrisy and reckless dangerous behavior from opponents of the Line 3 replacement project. It's embarrassing and dangerous for celebrities and radical activists to protest working uh, women and men on a project that has passed every test and been approved for construction. They should be ashamed. This isn't civil disobedience or free speech by Line 3 opponents. It is dangerous, radical lawlessness. Radicals plan to violate the law and need to be held accountable. Unquote. Uh, that was from the Minnesota Ag Energy Alliance. Uh, where down in uh, two inlets uh, there were uh, arrests today. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.